right now the biggest threats that I have um, are going to be Odin and Sun Wukong. The best thing I can think about doing right now is giving this to Harima and hoping that she's able to... Never mind. Never mind. She wasn't able to do it. I thought that she was going to be able to uh, at least one-shot freaking um, Arbiter, but that's that's not the case here. We might actually take this loss here. I, every time, every time I'm just like, when I have Harima, I should be using the A3 first. That way we could hit the Provoke, but I, I don't know. Uh, whenever I'm there, I'm just like, well, maybe I can get lucky. Maybe I can get lucky and, and uh, maybe I won't uh, have to spend an A3. Maybe I can charge up the A2 so that the A3 is a little bit stronger. At least in my head, that's how it works, but it just, it never... It never works the way I want it to, and it it, it just it, we're we're just gonna leave. <laughs> it never works the way I want it to, and I never learn. But yeah, that was a uh, that was on me. But the other thing is like I, I probably would have lost that fight to begin with. I, I wasn't too confident about that fight. I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. All right, so taking advice, I was told to bring a lockout, three supports, two nukers. One of them being Warlord, or any lockout, and then Siffy can stay. And then two supports. So, or another three support. This is technically three supports. One including a, a lockout. And then we're going to bring Georgid. And then we have two nukers that we have to choose from. So we're going to go with our usual Georgid. And... We gotta do Rotos. Although, I feel like Thor hasn't gotten love in quite some time. Let's give Thor some love. We gotta ban our Mons. I feel like Thor's gonna put in some work. I mean, I, I like pumped out a bunch of videos for him and then I just, I haven't touched him. He's untouched. He probably feels bad that, you know, it's like, oh, Burrito, am I not worthy? Or I guess he's got like an accent. So it'd be like, you know, Bur Burrito, am I not worthy? Am I not worthy, Burrito? Something like that. Boom. Wow, the reaction on Geralt. So let's lock that out. But he can still transform now. So that could be an issue in and of itself. Let's boost. I like that. We can take turn meter. We can boost our turn meter. Do a little bit of a, little bit of a healing. Let's hit this. Oh, smashing right through 130 on Geralt and uh, something. I, I, don't, I was looking at Geralt the entire time, so I didn't even see what happened to Harima there. But... She's going to bring back everybody, and we're going to hit the Dougie. Hit this, give him that insta turn, even though he was about to take a turn, I probably should have saved that. Does Demon Slayer, like, I'm confused. Why, why does a Demon Slayer passive proc for Thor? Does it, does it also, I thought it was just for, for, um, anybody who's like a, a demon or an orc or something like that. But I guess, uh... I guess that's not the case here. Ooh, ooh. Come on, Sky Rupture. We don't Sky Rupture on the counterattack? Okay. Uh, let's boom, boom. Now Sky Rupture. No Sky Rupture. Okay. That's right, we kept them locked out. So, because of that, Harima wasn't able to hit the A2 or the, hit the A3, which, you know, was a really good thing. All right, so Duchess is down. We just have to survive to take Harima out. And never mind. Zimbz flash. Yeah, as someone who doesn't really do live arena too often, I I really appreciate when you guys are kind enough to like give me tips on how I can make my experience a little bit better. Cause your boy be struggling. It's not the easiest out here. Especially when you don't have mythicals. I mean, you know, I got Makage for sure, but everybody gets Makage at some point, right? At some point. Technically, some sooner than others, but we're talking about the, uh, you know, the Crixias and the, um, what's the, the, the Nephilim, I don't know his name. I know what, what his race or whatever you want to call it is, but I, I, I can't forget it. I, I don't know what his name is. Oh, crap, Shuzen. Damn, though. We're going to go Makage Harima. So that's three supports and one more nuker. Let's bring in, um, an Ethway. We're going to ban Shuzen because if Shuzen takes a turn, it's going to take a turn for the worst. Or we can go in with Tormin because 
Foreman is actually built as a damage dealer as well. I have him in Savage. So he could actually put in some work and then we can just focus on banning Armands and not have to worry too much. Plus Rotos against Harima, you know, it's kind of a, a good thing there. Now Siffy's A1 is gonna get cucked by, oof, okay. We're in for a rough one here, but we'll see. We'll see, maybe Tormin can pull through here. I just realized it's the, it's the starter champions right there. Oh, we go first. All right, all right. Oh, never mind. I would give it to Sun Wukong and then I would hit the A3. Personally, that, that was just me. Boom. And let's get rid of Rotos first. Or at least try to. We're gonna try and uh, get rid of him. Uh, let's hit the A2, hit Rotos. There you go. Okay, so Rotos is gone. Yeah, I feel that. I mean, I feel like he still had a good chance, right? Sometimes like Wukong can come in clutch and Wukong can get her done. You know what I mean? All right, same guy as before. We're gonna try and choose Shuzen. I gotta remember three supports, one being a lockout and then two damage dealers. Is he gonna pick Rotos again? Maybe I should pick Siffy Rotos so that he can't pick Rotos. Did he choose Harima last time? Maybe I should, ah, he chose Tormin. That was a good choice. Mm-hmm, okay. So we want two damage dealers. We're gonna bring Georgia in. We're going to get rid of, I'm still confident we, we can do fine by getting rid of our mons, not have to worry too much about um, Tormin here. Because Siffy's gonna go first, I'm, I'm fairly certain he was gonna ban, I mean, it was a gamble, to be honest, but I was fairly certain he was gonna ban uh, Warlord after that um, conundrum he ran into. Because he was locked out, he wasn't able to do anything. Yeah, uh, being locked out is just crazy. It's a bad situation to be in. Not a fan. 10 out of 10, would not recommend. And of course, reaction, UDK. A3. Good job, nice hit. And we're just gonna hit the A1. Maybe we'll cycle through. And I don't want to risk getting frozen, so we're not gonna do that. A3, yep, hit the A1. Should I have hit the A2 with Georgid first? Would that have been better altogether? Oh, he's looking at it, he's he's enjoying it. There you go, dude, redemption. Love to see it, love to see um, you know somebody come up because I enjoy it too. I enjoy it when I, I lose to somebody and then I come around and then I beat them the second time around. It's always uh, a satisfying feeling. I don't even know how I would have won that. Uh, what, what do you guys think? How would I have won that last fight with that exact situation? What, what could I have done? Because George had hit the reaction on UDK. Would the A2 have changed things? So this is gonna be a, a toughie here. I need to get rid of the ally attack. I need to get rid of Podrig because Podrig is extremely empowering. Every time he takes a turn, it's a turn for the worse on the receiving end. Okay, so let's try to get rid of Kaimar first. And I would hit Harima, but um, you know, that passive that she's got going on isn't gonna do too well for us. Oh, nice, I forgot, forgot about his cleanse. So let's put Taurus to sleep again. And let's hit Harima. Ah, I forgot. Without buffs, this won't hit too hard. So, it is what it is. Let's choose Armand's. Let's not forget Armand's. And um, I'd like to actually get Harima in before he could get Harima in. So, let's do Makage and Harima. We ban Armand's. Now, she's kind of SOL there. And we're going to take the increased accuracy so Tormund has a better chance of, of um, freezing. Arbiter and, and their entire team there. Now she goes first, she has to decide, okay, well, you know, do I want to risk the freeze? Podrick's there, he's gonna cleanse. Sleep, A2. Oh, that was a good choice. Very nice. Push turn meter back, nice attempt. Get the freeze off. Decrease cooldown on Kaimar. 
Does he hit the A3? He hits the A2. Torment's freezing. That would that boosts the turn meter. Also freezes. Hit the A3. Good job. Now Torment still has a chance. Like I said, he's a damage dealer. Never mind. Like I said, it's just a back and forth. It's a push and pull. Sometimes you just, you know, you get your claps cheeked. Sometimes you're cheeking the claps. You know what I mean? We have a decent chance of outspeeding. He's got to ban Armands. Okay, he doesn't ban Armands, which means Warlord is probably going to take the cake here because Warlord is uh, my second fastest. And I think he's actually fast enough to put their skills on cooldown and get it in. And we are right. So their skills are on cooldown. Great for us. Odin only has to hit the A1. Now we can Armands our way through, which is absolutely fucking beautiful. Get rid of Odin. Boom, Berserk. Berserker mode, dude. OG Centaur. He's got a really nice um, frame. I like his frame. I like his frame. I like the way you frame, bro. Jojen. Crack those nuts, bro. And then uh, Taurus gets Harimid here. Thank you for choosing Burrito Slayer as your last choice in Live Arena Entertainment.